Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop right into this reading and collect some energy, okay? Love and light. Blessed be. All right. What is Pisces overall energy at this time? And we have the Knight of Cups here. And with this Knight of Cups, it looks like you ready to entertain somebody. You ready to put on a show here. Yeah, you, you may want somebody to recognize you here, Pisces. You you got love and passion in what you're doing here. You know, you might have your eye on somebody. You might be trying to impress somebody here. Let's see. What is Pisces' challenge? What's challenging Pisces here? And we have the Eight of Swords here. Trapped in your thoughts, though. Overthinking a lot of things, Pisces. Here with this Eight of Swords. So, you know, it, it's like... Maybe it's hard for you to get yourself out of one mind setting here. Maybe it's hard for you... Maybe you like, okay, I'm a do better with my speech. I'm going to do better with uh, what I say, what I put out into the universe, what comes out of my mouth. And then it's like when that time comes, Pisces still being Pisces. Pisces still talking a little bit too much. Still all off in their head stewing about some shit. They ain't let go, but they're trying to let go. So Pisces is like, whatever's going on in your mind, you need to let it go. Because you, you look like you ready to enjoy yourself here. You look like you ready to put on a show. You look like you rocking out like you having fun you got love in your heart you passionate about what you do it looked like you finna light up the city but yet and still pisces still had them thoughts in the back of their mind so you know let's be aware of what we think what we manifest you know so let's see what's the universal message here for pisces what does the universe want pisces to know and we have the chariot the chariot pisces look you full speed ahead it's like okay maybe you you know rocking out putting on the show being the center of attention you know look at that frequency just coming out i hope you guys could see that but it's like you loud you lighting this place up right you going full speed ahead here with the chariot pisces and what you got going on in your mind is your own destruction here because the universe is saying be confident here be strong will be determined here you know push forward get out of your head quit overthinking pisces so what the universe is saying is push forward push through with confidence you know you're gonna get to wherever you want to be you're gonna do whatever you want to do you're gonna get the opportunity to be that or to get that you know just don't let your thoughts mislead you here so what is What's been happening in Pisces' recent past? What's the energy around Pisces' recent past here, Pisces? And we have the Nine of Cups. It's like you've been getting everything you pray for. You've been getting everything you wish for here. I'm just counting the cups to make sure. Two, four six eight nine. Yeah. So it's like you've been getting your wish fulfillment. It's been hot and cold, though. It's been hot and cold. It's been hot and cold, but you've been getting it. So maybe, you know, moving forward in the present moment, you should be mindful here with the Eight of Swords being in your challenge position. Be mindful of what you wish for. Be mindful of your manifestation. Be mindful of what you speak into the universe. Because like I said once before, Pisces, in another reading, I feel like you guys get your prayers answered. I feel like you guys get your wish fulfillment here. But there's just something going in, on in your mind that's not connecting here, Pisces. But you've been doing great here. This is great energy so far. Let's see what's going on in your mind here. And we have the five of pentacles. 
Pisces, you done took a lot of losses. A lot of people done turned their back on you. A lot of people done gave you false hope. You worry a lot. You worry about your children. You worry about your job. You worry about your cars. You worry about your house. You worry about your man. You worry about your woman. You worry about your friends. You know what I'm saying? And each and every one of them people done possibly let you down. In, in, in one form or another. You've been let down a lot. And you feel like you've lost a lot. And you feel like these five rings is all I have left. This is all I have left here. You know, and maybe all that hurt and pain from, you know, just everyday life or the people you love or the people you deal with from past, from the past all the way up until now. You know, maybe that pain, that hurt is what got you all up in your head. What's got you worrying? Because right now, Pisces, I see you being successful. This Knight of Cups looks energetic, happy, and ready. Okay, I see you being successful. I see you doing everything you want to do. The universal message, the chariot, being confident, pushing forward, strong-willed here. Putting one foot in front of the other. Making shit happen every day. You do that. This is you. Right? In your past. The nine of cups. You get your wish fulfillment. You get your prayers answered. You just have to be mindful of your manifestation. And what you pray for. You have to actually know. You have to be detailed when you pray. When you manifest. You know? And in your mind, you just feeling like, you know, want, you know, when is this good time going to come to an end? When is it all going to go cold? Because like I said, in the past, you, you've been getting your wish fulfillment, but it's been hot and cold, hot and cold. That fire and water. Now you just like, all right, this all I got. I'm going to give it all I got. But somewhere in the back of your mind, Pisces, you feel like, when is it all going to take a turn for the worse? You know, so maybe you guys are thinking, fucked up. You know, y'all thinking all wrong here. Some of you. All right. Let's see what's coming up next here. What's coming up next for Pisces here? We have the Ace of Swords. And it's all about somebody taking their mask off. Somebody finna reveal some truth. That's the sun shining there. You, you probably finna receive some clarity here. Pisces, there's some truth coming out. There's some truth going to be coming around, coming out around some situations here. Somebody's false mask is going to come off. Somebody's going to reveal them all, their authentic self, their their real self here. Yeah, you finna find out the truth of the tr why my tongue tied. You are finna find out the truth about someone who hasn't all the way been copacetic with you. You know, it's a lot of uh, people who wear false masks. It's a lot of people who have their own intention here. And I think you finna find out some truth about something. So let's see, how is Pisces feeling about themselves at this time? How is Pisces feeling about themselves? And we have the Three of Pentacles here. I feel like you feel strong here. I feel like you got a bond with somebody here, Pisces. I feel like you need to work with others or try working with others in a more stable way, in a more concrete way. Yeah, all you want is some stability with your partnerships here. You want a stable relationship with your money and with your partnerships. You want everybody to be rock solid here. You, you tired of dealing with the fakes and phonies. And that's why there's some clarity or some truth coming on, coming up about somebody who hasn't been copacetic, who hasn't been keeping it real, who, who's been wearing the false mask. Somebody's finna show their true colors here. All you have to do is sit back and watch. They gonna reveal who they truly are, what their true intentions is. Sometimes it's okay to keep your mouth shut and listen. A person to tell you exactly who they is and what, what their um intentions are. 
All you have to do is pay attention and be open and ready to receive. Okay. So let's see what's going on in your environment here. What's going on in Pisces environment? And we have the emperor. Pisces, you take a control. Why is this emperor under the sea? Under the sea. Look, y'all, this emperor is under the sea. Oh, wow. And he's still lit. He's still on fire. His hair. So Pisces, take control over your emotions. That's what's going on in your environment. You take a control over your emotions. You take a control over your life here. You're trying like a mug. That's what I see. I see you need to get close to some water. You need to get close to some nature here to ground yourself. You have to get back in touch with your sun sign, which is water here. You are a water sign. You need to be close to some water here. I feel like you need to get back in tune with yourself and take control over situations and set boundaries. Set a strong boundary here. But with love, you know, and passion. But yeah, Pisces, in your environment, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of things happening. You may be trying to build up your empire here. I feel like it's a lot of entrepreneur Pisces out here. A lot of Pisces who got a lot of skills, a lot of talents, and got means to make themselves stable. You can make yourself stable here. You just have to get stable emotionally. You have to learn how to take control over your emotions and use them as your power. Okay, so let's see what 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 is in Pisces hopes and fears here. We have the Knight of Wands. Pisces, you just want to keep pushing. You just want to keep putting one feet in front of the other. You want to chase your dreams. You want to achieve your goals here. You got a lot of energy in you. You got a lot of passion in you that pushes you to this. You know, a lot of heartache and pain and hard times. It make you strong here. And with this Knight of Wands, I just see you making magic happen for yourself here. I see you pushing forward and persevering. I see you making things happen in your life. I see you doing a lot of things that you're passionate about. And I see you blocking out the BS. You know, you in your own world here. A lot of you may work better alone. A lot of you may reach and achieve a lot of things when you're in tune with yourself and when you're doing things on your own. But you want to work with people here and how you feeling. You feel like you want to work with people. You want stability. You want solid relationships. And until you get that, you'll be on your own. And I think the fear of it here is you don't want to be alone forever. But I feel you keep on striving. You're going to keep on putting one foot in front of the other each and every day. I don't see you slowing down or stopping from doing whatever it is you're passionate about or love doing here. So let's see what's coming towards you, Pisces. What's coming towards Pisces here? And we have the Seven of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups, Pisces. Don't be misled. Those false masks are coming off here. Don't be confused. Don't get too caught up in your emotions. You know? Don't be feeling left out. All that shit is illusion. Overthinking, that's illusion here. You know, feeling trapped when you're doing so well. Just don't get caught up in yourself. With the Emperor here, control your emotions here, Pisces. That's all. I don't feel like nobody trying to play you or get at you or deceive you. I just feel like you're going to learn the truth about a lot of people that you've been around. And you're going to realize you need more solid people in your life. People who are on the same wave as you. People who are, you know, goal-oriented, ambitious, that want something out of life. You don't want to surround yourself around unnecessary motherfuckers. Period. You know, and a lot of shit that go on with you is, is due to your own thoughts. So, you know, 
Be mindful of that. Be mindful of how you think, how you receive information, how you process it. And I feel like all you guys are going to be okay here. Let's see what's crossing all this, Pisces. The Ten of Cups here. Pisces, you sometimes block your own happiness. If it's a blessing you want, sometimes you can block them too. But you, 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 you have this emotional feel, fulfillment already. This Ten of Cups. You have it already. And it's through your passion. All these cups are lit on fire. It's through your passion here. Look at you. Still the center of attention. Still a warrior. Still a lover. You know? You're everything to me. You're everything to me. I feel like Pisces are everything. There's nothing in the world that Pisces cannot do. Especially when they do it from love. When they're in tune with themselves. You know? So I feel like this is good energy on your energy check here, Pisces. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity. To see what chakra needs to be worked on. Or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. I'm not going to chase that one. That one flew so far away. Please come in with the most relevant message for Pisces here. Because that was a throat chakra too. But okay. So we have the fifth chakra. And this is the throat chakra. And this one is relevant to creative manifestation. Oh no. Creative expression. I am committed to sharing and receiving. And revealing my thoughts and feelings. By being creative in my communication style. And using expressive language. I express myself through take, talking, singing, sighing, laughing, and crying, and through using my creative talents. I continuously use my senses to experience my world more fully. I see, hear, smell, and feel more, and I become more aware of my surroundings, such as the weather, aroma, people, nature, sounds, and sights. Creative expression is our positive energy for the day. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have for you, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.